Hello, BookTube. Um, today I'd like to do a Friday reads and a wrap-up for the week. Um, it's been a doozy, so it impacted impacted my uh, reading week. I uh, had a couple 12-hour days. Um, get ready to get into fall, the autumn stuff. Um, so uh, I didn't have as much time to do things as I wanted but I, I did get a few things done that were fun um important uh, i started off uh sunday i went to uh the boston comic-con that's why you just saw me moving funny i was sitting on the uh little fan magazine you get when you get there um i have i go down with my my kids they're into cosplay and they're into um, all that sort of thing and I enjoy going um, I like looking at the old comics um, I wish there'd been some maybe some paperbacks or something that would have been fun but uh, it was good very crowded uh, so family outing uh, we did we, we saw a little bit in Boston but we didn't then to get it was a down and down and back thing um, because of my schedule this week. So uh, also this week I managed to do a minor, uh, minor, minor book haul. Um, so I'll just include it in this instead of doing a separate video. I got a copy of Robert Ludlum. Uh, the Icarus Agenda. I probably read it years ago. I don't remember for sure. Random House, New York. And this is the first edition from uh, 1988. So, um, I, I, I always liked him. I, I love the Bourne books. And I love the Bourne movies. So, I'm excited to have this. In pretty good shape for its age. And, uh, let's see if it's, yeah. The other thing I got is also a uh, nice volume. Stephen King, Tommy Knockers. Look at him there. <laughs> Isn't that great? Um, this, uh, <clears throat> I think one thing great to look at. This is his list of books. Uh, can you see that? Try to get a little closer. So this is G.P. Putnam and Sons, New York, and this is also a first edition from 1987. So I was, I was excited to find that. But that, that's the whole book haul, so two books. But hey, two good books as opposed to 21 that I'll never read. I did read one volume. <clears throat> it wasn't one I expected, and that's what happens. It ended up being a really, really good read, and it's a... Uh, Jimmy Sony and Rob Goodman, they wrote a book called A Mind at Play, how uh, Claude Shannon invented the information age. Very, very interesting story. Um, this one is uh, Simon & Schuster, New York, and uh, 2017. Here are our authors. So, um, the life and times of one of the foremost intellects of the 20th century, Claude Shannon, the architect of the information age, whose insights stand behind every computer built, email sent, video stream, and web page loaded. It's so right there. It's sounding interesting. So, um, I picked it up. You never know. Well written. Very, very interesting story um you have bell labs you have um mit in boston uh, you have michigan where he was born um the people he knew look at that computer back there but um i'll probably do a book chat about this um i was very impressed so if you get a chance and you find it and you're into that sort of thing um good reason now I'm working 
on a book that I started into halfway through the week when everything just got crazy at work. So um, I got a bit stymied and a bit exhausted. So I, I really didn't have a chance to deal with it much. And it's um, Robert P. Wasson, The Ghost Ships of Brooklyn, An Untold Story of the American Revolution. It's about uh, prison ships in the Revolutionary War. Um, this was a kindly sent to me by Mr. Steve Donahue. Um, very interesting. I'm still, like I say, I'm still working on it, so I don't want to say much. Here's our author. So uh, I will finish this this weekend, and uh, maybe I'll do a book chat on this one too. I'll, I'll for sure do one on the uh, Claude Shannon book, um, and uh, perhaps on this too. And um, that is the week wrap up and uh, Friday reads and. I have the whole weekend off, so I'm looking forward to some relaxation and reading. Although I heard the kids want to go to Best Buy. That's where our family goes. Thank you, BookTube.